having a scoop in your coffee, something potent is your best way to go because it tastes nasty. Hey loves, it's you back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As you can tell, today we're discussing beauty and nutrition. This is a continuation of a past video. We're just gonna quickly run through three more nutrients. You can click the card over here, hit pause if you wanna check out the other nutrients we discussed previously, but they're not really in any particular order, so you can always check that out at the end. In this one, we're gonna talk about a couple nutrients that are gonna help you get your skin smooth and plump, as well get your hair to grow, because you know, one thing I've noticed is my hair grows way fast in the summer and now that we're entering the fall, I gotta up the ante with these nutrients. So the first one we're gonna talk about is biotin. I've been swearing by biotin. I've been taking it on and off for a little over two years now and I have never seen my hair grow as much as when I pop one every day. I take supplements, but if you wanna get it from naturally derived sources, you can try egg yolks. Not really bad about it though. I'm not really a fan of egg yolks liver, legumes, and nuts and seeds. Whichever one, it's your pick. I prefer taking biotin on the daily because I don't really eat food super high in it every day, but at least when I take one of those supplements, I know my hair is gonna grow like Rapunzel. Every time I take it, I notice a huge difference because my hair takes forever to grow. So if you're in the same camp as me, give it a go, especially since the Instagram gummies they're so expensive and biotin is a fraction of the price. Biotin apparently is good for skin too, although I can't really speak on that because for as long as I've been taking it, it wasn't until I saw a dermatologist to get my skin clear. So I can't speak to that, but apparently there are claims on the internet that it helps with your skin texture as well. What I do know that helps with your skin texture is this next nutrient, which is collagen. As a lot of you guys know, collagen is connective tissue. I'm on the fence with this one because I tried different types of collagen. I tried the animal byproduct one, I tried the vegan one, which by the way, tastes way better. You cannot pay me to take the bone broth type again because no, just no. But what I do know between the both, I didn't see incredible results. I did see mild results, but not for the taste and the texture of putting it in my coffee. The vegan one doesn't really have much of a taste, thank the Lord, but the animal one just, there's a reason why I left that one in the past, but if you're brave enough to give it a try, you can. If not, the supplement version, you can try bone broth, which is probably the most common way that people get collagen in their system, as well as, of course, when you're eating animal byproducts because it's part of the connective tissue. Anything that has a stew and lets it simmer and really seep, you're gonna get collagen in the mix. Okay, so why is collagen so good for your skin? Apparently, it's supposed to help with plumpness and just making sure that your skin looks supple and not saggy. Again, I still got the wrinkles over here, so I don't know if it's doing that much. It just seemed like it smoothed it out a little bit, but not enough for me to call home about it, if you know what I'm saying. With that said though, my friends have sworn by collagen and their skin looks smooth, smooth. I mean, I'm legally blind, so most people's skin looks smooth, smooth. But when I zoom in on pictures, let's say, and I see the difference from before they took it to after, there is some difference. The last one for today is vitamin B3, AKA niacin, which I'm sure is ringing bells because a lot of products these days, at Sephora at least, have niacinamide, which is very similar. But we're gonna talk about the naturally derived version. So niacin is a B vitamin, which you can get from liver which I cannot recommend anything I do myself. I've never had love and I don't know if I will. Some people say it's good, but this idea of it, mm, not so much. Something more palatable would be chicken breast, which I love. If ever I'm cooking chicken, it's usually chicken breast, unless it's a Caribbean dish that requires the thighs. You can't go wrong with chicken breast. And then we also have turkey, tuna, and salmon, if I'm not mistaken. The thing about being legally blind is I can't have notes to double check, so I'm just going off the top. But a quick Google search will let you know what foods are high in vitamin three, AKA niacin. Niacin is incredible for hydrating the skin. And because of that, much like collagen, it's gonna boost and increase the plumpness. Anything that's gonna help you retain and lock in moisture is gonna be really good if you're suffering with dry skin. As I mentioned in the part one of this video, it's essential to tackle the troubles your skin and your hair and your nails are going through. So it's not just that you're acne prone. You could be acne prone with dry skin or you could have oily skin and experience dehydration. You need to really tap and tether in to figure out what the problem is and troubleshoot it. It's not just about wanting your skin to be smooth or glowy. It's about really looking at the problem and trying to resolve it from the inside out 
because nine times out of 10, Whatever you're seeing on your skin, your nails, or your hair is an indication of what you're lacking inside. It's the last of your organs to get nutrients. Because your skin is your largest organ, you gotta treat it like your internal ones. If your heart was ba bump ba bump ba bump not the right way, you'd probably get it checked out and figure it out, right? The same way if your skin's dry, ashy, dull. We tend to look at it from a cosmetic side and I do the same, okay? I'm not gonna sit up on this chair and act like I'm any different than you. But we have to think about what does that mean about what's going on internally too. And that way we can better nourish ourselves from the inside out and truly radiate and be beautiful because we're taking care of ourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment down below what you learned today and what you wanna see for this nutrition series. Until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love it later.